What up, man? How you doing? And it was moving Hello. real slow, dude. Like real slow. It might have been 30 minutes. It might have been 10 minutes. But there was no way it was 10 to 4 a.m. in the morning. Um, sorry, I got distracted. Tate, do you got feet pictures on your uh, on your icon? You're kind of throwing me off in the chat. <laughs> was like, wow, those are feet pics. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. We have dude. There's so many people that try to join my fucking uh, stream yard and want to show their feet. I'm like, y'all then get the fuck out of here with that. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not into that shit. You guys can go somewhere else with that. I think Boss Man was on the last time that happened, too. Well, they okay. say there's a big market, dude. That's like a big market. They say I, I, my feet are real pretty and perfect. I thought about Solo, I, Solo I don't want to see your feet either. I'm going to keep my I'm feet. My two way. I'm saying that there's more reason to pay it. If you want to <laughs> contact me uh, there, Jacob, you know how to find me now. Uh, I just want yeah. to come up here and share the only experience I've ever had. I appreciate you sharing it, man. Yeah, no, uh, what time did you guys originally walk out, if you guys remember walking back in at 4? Like I said, we knew that we walked out in the 9 o'clock hour. It was not 10 okay. o'clock. Gotcha. And we knew it was, we all agreed, 10, maybe 30 minutes we were outside. But there's no way we was outside for hours. Yeah, that's a long time to be watching, especially if it's going slowly too. But yeah, it would throw me off. So it looked it so it, like when you when you said it was a star, it was the same size as other stars in the sky, and that's why you yeah. said star. Or it looked just like a star. It looked just it, it looked like the North Star, a very bright, intense light next to the moon, and not the dot that you see now. It was in like on top of the moon, and it made okay. like. And it literally moved like this. In the perception, it's like the moon was right here and just. And did it I go read, side to side too? Like I've had some very... It made across and then it stopped. And we all agreed what we saw. And we all agreed that it didn't take more than 10, 30 minutes for it to do its little dance before it stopped. I've, I've seen some uh, uh, different things in the sky myself recently what kind of stuff you've been seeing solo well moving star stars that move in weird ways and the shit that uh i assumed was uh uh what's it called fucking um uh, Drone, I assumed it was drones because he moves in a herky jerky manner. But then recently, I, again, I've seen multiple times some shit that moves in a weird, slow manner that reminds me of uh, something else. Yeah, I remember the first time I saw, uh, what is it, uh, the Skylink satellites or whatever? What if, uh, what's it called? Starlink? Those fucking creep me out the first time I saw them. I don't know if you guys have ever seen uh, Starlink go overhead, but I was out camping, and all of a sudden I just saw this stream of lights in the sky, just huge. And it's making, God, it just looks so big. And it just blows your mind. I'm like, oh, my God, Elon Musk did that. Holy crap. Like, so, yeah, <laughs> I hell? wanted to pop up and uh, let y'all hear that because I don't think I've uh, <laughs> let that be known on YouTube yet. Yeah, yeah, no, I haven't heard your but, uh, UFO story yet. But I don't think it was no, it wasn't what I saw. I well, I don't think it's a satellite. Well, yeah. All right, yo, I'm gonna pop back down. All right, later, Kirst. But yeah, no, I don't know. I I think it's cool when you get to see stuff. It is a little unsettling. Just the, but I I like the curiosity side of it. I like that there's things out there that we don't understand. You know what I mean? It keeps you on your toes about about life. It moves like a weird fucking way, dude. The way it moves, like weird and like just like it moves in it's a weird. Me out when he said it, his was like a cross. That that's what kind of tripped me out about it a little bit. Like it was dancing for him. 
That he said it moved in the cross. Yeah, he said it went straight down, and then he said it went uh, side to side, and then stopped. So it was like a cross. I've been seeing. I've been. That's interesting. I did, I've never seen that. And he, said he, he said he saw it by. He said uh, it was ab above the moon when they were looking at the moon in the night sky. But many times, about, sounded like six hours at least. Of time. I want to. I want to testify, hundred percent truth. I've seen many times some weird things that is like a bright brighter than a star that moves in an unordinary manner but i've had many many uh extraordinary experiences prior to this so my experiential list is different than most people yeah boss man you ever seen some wild shit in the sky boss man i got a phone call I moved down, then sent your... Wait, sorry. It moved all right, down, I didn't know I was then... muted. Oh, no, you're good. You ever seen anything in the sky, boss man? Um, you know, last week when I was on one of my uh, reconnaissance missions with the... The Mud Show was on with me. Um, there was, like, three lights in the sky, very bright. I just thought it was an airplane. And all the sudden... And they were horizontal. All of a sudden the one on the left moved to the top and the one on the right moved to the bottom. So now they're, they're horizontal and they were just stationary <laughs> and they stayed there for several minutes, went back to horizontal and then took off. Not super fast, but started moving again. They were oh, okay. stationary. Dude, that's wild to get like a stop and like a hover. Because now, all the ones I've ever seen are when I'm driving and that's what really confuses me is like if I'm keeping pace with it or if it's moving faster than me, it like it, it would have to be such a crazy speed. Because most of the ones I actually see are when I'm driving to Chicago in the morning or um yeah, it's it's just like right, right at the morning uh sunbreak. Um that's usually usually the time when I see the most shit in the sky. When there's not stars in the sky. And I can tell it's not a plane. <laughs> but yeah, that's interesting. I don't. When you say so, it just it like stopped and then it took off again, or did it change directions, or did it just continue the way it was already going? You know, I don't think I saw it moving to begin with. <laughs> it seemed stationary, as you know, just horizontal. And there is an airport close, so I thought, well, maybe it's just you know the small airplane, and then it became vertical and then horizontal again and then took off um now san diego is a huge um navy uh, town so you never know you know if it's something military or yeah because it i mean anything that you i mean there's that's the one thing about uh our areas we don't really have a a that i know of a really big uh base anywhere nearby but um i don't know it would be so easy to have some some uh some planes or something like that we just don't recognize i remember the first time i saw a stealth bomber and i was like oh like that's some wild shit like if, if i saw that in the sky and they didn't tell me it was ours i would have been like oh yeah and then and the, when the public actually started seeing stealth bombers it was uh they who knows how long the the uh, Air Force had those already. Yeah. <coughs> Let me catch up. Uh, 